So here's where we are. I just took off the clamps of uh, what of this part of the guitar. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lining up this straight edge um, and routing out most of this piece of maple so that um, it leaves a little wedge that's uh, straight and we shouldn't have any more problems in terms of uh, there being a gap here um, when I've got the sides glued up. Um, this is just the workaround that I had that's probably going to be the least amount of grief for me in the long run. So those are the next steps. I'm going to affix a template uh, which is just a straight edge. I'm going to use a router to route out the, the edge and that's going to be it. Um, and then we'll be able to work on the neck and body a little bit more because we won't have to worry about, um, about this. All right, that's it. So this is that little wedge I was talking about uh, after I routed it. Uh, I am going to take it down a little bit more with some sandpaper, but it, so it'll just make a nice flush um, appearance and uh, a much better fit. Okay, so this is just a quick look. I uh, sanded this down a lot more. You can see how almost paper thin this section is, um, and that's actually the width. I don't know if you can see that. But then if you, this is what it's going to look like with a, against the flat piece, there's almost or no space there, which is perfect. So I deem this experiment a success, but this will set the point on the butt. Okay, so uh, fast forward to what I've done so far. Uh, I was just trying to get a feel for the shape of the body. I sketched it out, and I'm, since it's going to be semi-hollow, I'm going to put these little F holes here, sound holes. Um, these right here are going to be the pickup cavities. Uh, that I'm going to route out. This is where the tremolo is going to be routed through. Um, and so I needed to just make sure that we got all of this squared away where I was going to put my electronics. I believe I'm going to put my volume and my tone here and put my three-way switch there. Uh, you can see the it's a little squat here instead of being a little bit more rounded. And that's because I'm missing a little bit of the material there. But I'm going to make it a little offset so it's going to jut out a little bit here instead of being a little bit rounder. Um, and here um, I've, I've drawn out uh, some of the section where I'm going to end up cutting this part out and this part out. And um, here is also just fine line finalizing where I'm going to put the fretboard and so I did make sure the scale length was right and it should be pretty spot on um, so the next step I believe we're going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to bite the bullet and put glue the fretboard on so that I can start working on not just the neck and have this thing squared away but then start working on gluing up the bodies the at least these parts of the body so that I could do some of the routing and then start working on um, uh, this body itself too and I may just glue them all together all at once but I haven't decided yet but I think that's where we're going all right, that's it for now.